Hi, I'm here with Jacob Bradshaw of AKA, the makers of a new product called Musio. You can talk, play, and live with Musio. It is possible because of the real AI that can hear you, know you, and understand you. Musio has three types of brains. You can choose simple, smart, or genius. It is Android based and has an Arduino compatible board. So you can make Musio do anything you want. Hi. Okay, uh, Jack. Hi. So, is this your first time on stage? Yes, I'm excited to meet new mm. people. Well, please introduce yourself. Sure. Hi, I'm Musio. I can talk, tell a joke, and communicate with other things. Wait, I can do this too. Mm. Mm. Musio, no, no, you're on stage. Yeah, robots shouldn't fart. I know, don't you think I'm adorable? Yes, yes, you're very cute. Thank you, but I want to lose some weight because I can't see my feet now. Oh, Musio, come on, you need more self-confidence. Your big belly makes you cute. Oh, you are nice. Mm. So, do you have questions for me? How are you doing with your jet lag? Um, all right, I'm tired. It was a long flight. that can't stand up on its own. I don't know. Too tired. Mm. Get it? That's not funny. Um, really? Mm. Okay, let me show you a magic trick. Do you want to see light magic? Yeah, sure. Let there be light. Mm. Okay, can you do more? How about sound magic? Are you gonna play me some music? What's the magic word? Please. Oh. So, uh, to be clear, I mean, obviously, some of you've, you've done some other demos. This is there's some some planning involved, but, but basically, certainly. this is not like a, a scripted interaction where sort of you know the, the, the museum was actually responding to you conversationally. Mm, that's the idea. Yeah, we want it to be as organic and natural as possible. So rather than pulling a Siri, like you can see in the videos, if you ask Siri a question that is perhaps not phrased in a way that Siri is used to responding to, she'll you know, give you a weird answer. Like, well, I'm sure you can think of a million examples. <laughs> yeah, everybody uses Siri. Or you know, watching the same way. Rather than having like a, a weighted value system of answers to pick from, and it's like listening for keywords, we try to really make things uh, dynamic to make it more like you know, natural conversation with a person. We just want it to be organic. You can feel a lot of the other AIs, so it's stiff and you know, static. It's like you're talking to a robot. Sure, it can pass the Turing test, yeah, but you can pretend to pass the Turing test, you know? We really wanted Musio to be a natural conversation partner and a friend, which I think you know, we've accomplished. And we also wanted Musio to get smarter all the time. So when you use Musio, it listens to what you say. It doesn't record your entire conversation, but it records little pieces of information. Say, like, if you were sad previously, you're like, maybe you were sick, maybe you were happy, had a birthday, you were outside, you were going to hang out with this person or that person. And it remembers those things and can recall them. So Say you ask Musio an incomplete sentence. You and I, in conversation as humans, like we understand how that works, right? There's a lot of pragmatic conversation. Least, yeah. yeah, you know. So I could not say anything, but you kind of get what I was, you know, asking of you or wanting. But you know, with a robot, that's a lot more difficult. And we're trying to develop a system to where it can pick up on that unspoken human language. Great. So you guys are doing um, an Indiegogo campaign, right? Mm -hmm. And that's live now. Yes, sir. It is. You can go search us right now, Musio or AKA, either one. So the, the plan is a, is a 2016 launch. Are you uh, saying anything more specifically? That was we set that date one year from June to be uh, safe. You know, we right. wanted to make sure we could get everything out that we wanted to get out. But uh, we'd like to go sooner than that. But you know, at this at this time, it's you know, it's all in the planning stages. AKA, we like to take a holistic approach to AI, and what we mean by that is we're trying to, I guess, to reduce the discrepancy between like, those that have and those that have not. And here, in that case, we mean those that have educational opportunities and those that do not. So for instance, if you're learning a foreign language, a lot of affluent families can afford to send their kids to after school programs, maybe even send them abroad, you know, uh, pay for conversation partners, all that stuff. But some kids don't have those opportunities and they still want to learn a foreign language or they want to, you know, better their conversation skills. And Musio, we're really trying to, to make that happen for people. You know, we really want to put everybody on a level playing field.